Hi there. I'm going to do today a double hammock with a um, double sling shoulder to shoulder finish with a ring. I'm starting slightly off center. About, here's the center. I'm gonna start maybe about a foot off center. I'm gonna bump it. And I'll go get my baby. Oh, there he is. There he is, turn him around. And he's back. Okay. Okay. Superman toss him onto my back. Lower him, the double hammock height, and then I'm going to take the shorter side to make the chest pass. I'm trying to plan this out right because I normally like the chest pass to start on my right, but just go with the front. This is going to start out just like a double hammock. Now let them loose. Okay. I'm going to hold the top rail on my teeth and I'm going to pin the bottom rail under his bug. Do a top rail elbow and hold the pink side of the rack. Pull away from the body, up and out. Snugs up that chest pass so nicely. <laughs> but I'm going to hold this in my mouth and I'm going to distribute this chest pass. Snug that up. It's very snug. Feels good. Want to say hi? Yeah, he, uh, he fell down today and he's got a little fat lip. Okay. Okay. So that's the double hammock part. Now we're gonna do the shoulder to shoulder because this is nice and long. I'm gonna hold that between my, actually, I wasn't supposed to bring this up on my shoulder. All right, so on the long side now, I'm putting the ring. I'm gonna do a single ring today. Another day I'll show you how to do this with two rings. actually does stay under and if you see my previous vid videos with shoulder to shoulder finishes with the ring um, it can get kind of tricky to remember which way the ring is supposed to be folded 
um, for it to work out. You can always fix it, but um, my new trick is to go ahead and do the knotless tuck. That would be what you do when you don't have a ring um, for a shoulder to shoulder finish. And then we'll slip the ring in afterwards after the, the, uh, the carry is finished. So to do that, the short end goes under, up, down. So that's a normal shoulder to shoulder tuck. And then the long side, we're going to make sure you flip it. So the pink side is against my neck, so now it's going to be the green side against my neck. And get it over my shoulder and kind of pull all the fabric down. And it kind of helps if you have a long enough wrap kind of pull that down with your knees. If not, you can just leave it and not, just don't pull this so high that it ends up in your neck because, uh, can be tricky. Okay, so now I'm gonna pass this. If it was, the ring wasn't here, I would just go over and then down and it would be done. But we're gonna do the ring, so I'm going to. Ow, ow, ow. Um, you are getting very fussy today. And his mouth hurts. Put it through the ring. to that between my knees. The other reason to do it when you just did it is uh, I did that wrong. Couldn't I? There we go. That's why it's helpful to have that knot this time. First. And figure out the ring portion afterwards. For two reasons. One, when you just tuck it into the ring on that on this first side, it's not like a, a half knot. So it won't hold without you being able to hold it between your knees, which is fine if you have a long wrap, you can hold it between your knees, but which I've done in my previous shoulder to shoulder finish video. There we go. Um, okay. Okay. What is it? Shh. Let me get a cracker. You like that? Um, so it's totally doable. But if you have a shorter wrap and you don't have enough length to pin it, to pin this side when you're doing the side first, in between your knees, you want that half knot to kind of hold while you're distributing that last sling pass. Um, so I find getting the ring on that longer tail first and then, um, and then doing it like a normal knotless tuck, which creates that half knot, creates the stability to hold everything while you're distributing that last pass. So this is a really long wrap. It's dragging on the floor as it is. If it's a short wrap, you just leave it like this. It's perfect, but it's really long. So I'm gonna tie it behind us. Pack, distribute this a bit. I don't know, do I want to? Nice. Okay. So I'm going to go over his legs and then do I have enough to come back in front? Kind of a little uneven. 
but I think we do. I can finish off with a ring over on my hip. You could tie behind you. Um, you could tie in front if it's long enough, or you don't have to tie it at all because this um, is definitely yeah. sufficient. Oops, to hold the carry. Really on the tails here. You know what? I think it's more creating more of an issue because it's a small one. Ring size is really dependent on a few different things. Um, the thickness of the wrap is one. Um, and also how many passes of the wrap is going through it. If it's a ring that's doing a finish or if it's a ring that's just kind of holding, holding the tails to be fancy. Um, sometimes it doesn't really matter the size of the ring, <clears throat> other than you need to be able to fit the wrap through it. <sighs> so there you have it. This is a brand new wrap for me, and it looks really nice in this finish. This is a double hammock with a um, double sling with a single ring finish. Bye-bye.